Hey yo, what's crackalackin everybody? Your boy Bongo's back and today I have a very special video for you guys. Obviously with a very special video, we gotta get a very special guest. So today we have none other than Omari Mids in the building, guys. Yeah. 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 We are gonna be testing some of the most viral TikTok mug cakes. So if you guys are excited for this video, go ahead, smash that like button. And without any further ado, let's get started. So the first one we're gonna do is a banana bread. Now Omar, have you seen these TikToks on online? Nah, Do you even I don't have even, I have, I have, I made one still. Like, oh, come on. So the first thing you guys need is a banana. Now obviously get a mosh up banana because the more mosh up the banana is, the better it is for banana bread game. That's a lot of banana bro. Grab a fork guys and start moshing up your banana. Boom, boom, Jeez, boom. Crazy so, form. So we have our banana all moshed up. Now, once we've moshed up our banana, the first thing we need is an egg. I think we only need one egg. Boom an egg in here. Once you got your egg in there, we're gonna go with three tablespoons of flour. Like uno, dos, and like tres. We need one tablespoon of milka. Guys, you see the Canadian vibes. Boom, one tablespoon. We need one teaspoon of olive oil. Jeez, I have the same one. Like, oh, come on. Like, gallo. Like, gallo. It's definitely <laughs> Italian. <laughs> one teaspoon. Once we got these ingredients, what we want to do now is start mixing it together. And I think it should become some sort of batter. Us. Oh, yo, that's thickening up. Jeez, what's wrong with it? Again. Great form, exhibited by Bongo. Once you guys have mixed up your ingredients, what you guys want is a little mm. bit of cinnamon, not too much. So here we go with a little dash. See the vibes? Yeah, cinnamon, some cinnamon. And like, what's banana bread without the chocolates? Like, some chocolate chips. Yeah. Oh, that's a vibe. Now, we're gonna give that a little mixage. The only thing about these TikToks, bro, is the fact that they're made in the microwave. It trips me out every time. From the baker's man, you should, you should use a, an oven, you know, to make things. But, like the TikToks say otherwise. So here we go, everything up, and we're gonna put it in for like a minute 30. But it started, so we'll add another minute. All right, so I left it in there for two and a half minutes. I'm gonna open it up to see what we have. Ooh. Oh, yo, you see that? It's rising. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, okay. I mean, I don't give it a full approval yet, but visually, it's not bad, not bad. I've seen way worse come out of the microwave. But like, does it taste good? It has a nice smell to it. Definitely smells like banana bread. It definitely looks like it's gonna be like moist. How is it? How is it? Okay, for something that came out of the microwave, I'm gonna have to give this like... <laughs> You're talking a lot of sh Like three and a half stars <laughs> out of like 10. So it's garbage. I don't know why it's not as sweet. Yeah, I need, to, I need a redemption bite. Okay, yo, the chocolate chip saves it so much. What do you give it? I'm gonna give it out of five stars. I'm gonna go 3.8. It could be way better. Mar, here's the four cuts. It actually kind of looks like bread, but not really. No. Nah. All right, Mar, here we go. It looks like a banana bread, and Jello had a daughter or a cousin. This is a cousin. It literally tastes like banana bread Jello. I'd give it a six. All right, so the first hack, not the greatest. So we gotta come in strong for the second one. Obviously, we gotta use a banger, Nutella. To get this TikTok cake started, what we gotta do is open up the Nutella. That is beautiful. Boom, one spoon. Well, that's like, satisfying. You see the vibes. Now we need two of the same spoonfuls of flour. There's one, and like two. Top it off with one single egg. Yay. Now, we just mix it. Mix game, super strong. For those who don't know, this is called whisking. We're whisking, whisking. Like, I'm stirring. Doesn't look as appealing as I thought it was gonna look. Mix, 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 mix. So. Like, two words, keep going. Excellent form by the youngster. Stirring, whisking. <sighs> Once we have everything mixed into the microwave, I'm gonna put this guy in here for like two minutes. We're rolling. Like, it's ready. Open up this guy. Oh, okay. It is looking kind of like a vibe. Okay. Whoa, it's bubbling. It's a little bit harder than the last one. It does look kind of like the TikTok. Smell test. Does it pass? Bro, I don't trust the microwave. I don't <laughs> trust the microwave, bro. This is tripping me out. If you were to actually bake something in the oven, it takes like 20, 25 minutes. The microwave takes yeah. like two minutes. Like two words. Taste teasy. Uh, like get it? Taste teasy. Kind of weird. Okay. How's it taste? Okay. It looks like dookie, bro. It looks like dookie? No, like actual dookie. 
smokes. Totally smokes. Not like, not like, like it would taste like dookie. I seen that in the park today on my run. That actually looks like an 80 year old sponge. You know SpongeBob's Hoyo? It actually looks like SpongeBob's mom, Some, bro. Take Somali. this in. Holy smokes! All right, here we go. Chuck and Mike, bro. I gotta give it to the Nutella cake. It's better than the banana bread. Better than the banana bread. All right, let's see. Oh damn, it's actually bare viscous, as they say in chemistry. Viscous means thick, like thicky. Wow, right? I actually kind of feels like a cake. On to the next mug cake. And the next one we are gonna do, we're gonna switch it up. We we have to use a banger brand. We we got the Nutella involved. The next one, you're not ready for this one, Mark. I'm not ready. When I seen this, I lost my mind. Like two words. Orange crush. We are making what? a creamsicle cake. I know guys, don't be quick to judge, but here goes nothing. This is how you do it. First things first, you need a mug. Second thing, like you need cake mix. A creamsicle cake. Are we this is gonna go in the microwave too? It's gonna go in the microwave, buddy. Huh. We need three heaping tablespoon nuts. Make sure they're heaping, eh? This one's heapity jeepies. One, like hoopity poppity. Two, and like heaping jeepins. Three. All right, now that we have our cake mix, what we need? Half a spoon of the oil. Yay. And now, like the crush. Now we need two spoons of crush. There's our first spoon, and our like second spoon. Mix this up. Whisk time. Now that we've mixed it, it does smell like a creamsicle cake. I can smell from here. All right, so now that we've mixed it, here we go. Into like, chef mic for a minute and a half. Start, start, start. While that's going, what we need is like a side bowl. And in that side bowl, what we need is a little bit of vanilla frosting. Now I'm gonna use one nice spoon of like vanilla frosting. And now a little splash of like the orange sodas. Yay. Now, we, oh my God. Slowly mix this, guys. Slowly but surely. Have you ever had a creamsicle cake in your life? Never. I didn't even know that flavor existed. Three, two, uh, one. Like, Let's see what this looks. I bet you it's bubbling up. Oh! Ooh, it smells fire. Oh! Okay! This uh, might be the biggest vat. Only icing. because it comes with the icing. I'm gonna taste it. I gotta see what it tastes like. What's the verdict? Okay, it definitely still just tastes like vanilla icing, you know? <laughs> I should have waited. All right, so here we go. Little bit of icing on our cake, drizzled so nicely on tops. Oh, come on, give me a break. Mm. I might go a little bit more. I like the icing for taste. All right, so here we go. I got my fork. Oh, you see the orange inside? That's a vibe. That's actually a vibe. But does it taste like a vibes? Okay, bro. Okay, definitely is good. <laughs> this guy just took two. Bro. Deeper. Whoever thought of this one it deserves a Nobel Prize. This one is crazy, bro. This isn't normal. This one's Chinese. This one is Chinese. It actually tastes like cake? Bro, taste it, taste it, taste it. I mean, don't mind if like my I do. <coughs> <coughs> wow, amigo. It's better than ours. That's actually bomb. It's a vibe. I think it's just icing that makes it good, to be honest. I think it's the cake mix. Instead mm. of like trying yeah. to DIY your own thing. I was gonna say it tastes like vanilla, but like, <laughs> and and vanillas definitely tastes like vanilla, but it's fire nonetheless. It's really good, right? I'm gonna give it a nice 4.6 out of five. Oh no, bro! 4.6 out of five. No, no, no. This one's this a contender. We still got two left. I'm not one to jump the gun. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 4.2. If I got 80% school, I was happy, so they should be happy. <laughs> All right, now the next mug is more of a DIY vibe. Now coming after the Betty Crocker one, I mean, you can't really beat Betty Crocker. She's the mogul, but you could try, all right? So we are gonna try to do a birthday cake style, birthday cake mug. So here we go. First thing, what we need is like a nice mug with two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons. All right, now we're gonna throw this guy in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Just a melt. Now while that guy is melting, we need one egg yolk. Obviously the best way to get the egg yolk is to do the TikTok egg yolk trick. Egg yolk in with the butter. That's a crazy trick, I must say. A quarter cup of flour, so we have our quarter cup right here. Quarter cup, flour. A half a tablespoon of vanilla. I it out here, boom. We need two tablespoons of sugar. This is what the other ones were lacking. You know, they were definitely lacking some sugar, a little bit of vanilla, so here we go, one. And two, we need one tablespoon of milk, guys. So here we go with the milk. 
and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Just a little bit of a mess. Baking powder? Baking powder, make sure it's powder. So there we go. Now, once we have all of that, we can go ahead and mix it all together. Okay, now this is looking way more like a batter. Way better than the banana bread already. Damn, you really hated that banana bread, eh? The banana bread was kind of weird. All right, guys, once we have mixed it into a batter, what we need is like two words, some sprinkles. And like sprinkle it in. Yay. Jesus. Like, we need more. Yeah, what kind of birthday party is this? <laughs> All right, once we have mixed it up, we'll give it the one, two, shake and bake technique. Into the microwave it goes. I think this one needs to go in for a minute, but we're gonna put it in for a minute and 30 seconds, just in case, because like, we're not playing any games. We gotta make sure this is a banger. We gotta beat Betty. Like two words. It's ready. So we're gonna open this guy up. Oh, okay. Promising. You see the vibes. It looks promising. Super promising. Jeez. It's definitely a party in there. We're not discriminating. Every color is invited. We got yellow, we got blue, we got purple. <laughs> now, yeah. like, what kind of birthday party is it without whipped creams? All right, so we have our whipped cream. Now, I don't know if I should be putting cold whipped cream on the on the burning hot cake. Probably. Like, doesn't matter. We can't let it cool off. Jeez. Oh, nice, bro. Wow. And obviously, like, we gotta keep the party going. More sprinkles. Okay, this is a vibe. We got the whipped cream, the sprinkles, and the birthday cake underneath, but does it taste the parts? Let's see. Is it gonna beat the crush? Wow. No way. Wow. Stop. You going for seconds? That's bro, a good sign. For a DIY? You guess you don't need to microwave so much now, eh? The last two have been kind of fire. Wow. What's the number? We bro? got some competition here, bro. I need a number. I need a number. Mm, 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 mm. Mark. I gotta get someone. Some we gotta point. bring you up to speed here, Mark. You <clears throat> gotta feel what I'm feeling. What the hell? Right? How? Bro, I'm saying. I think the whip is making it taste. I need some more of this. Like, some more. Mm, okay. 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 That's a 4.18. 4.18? It's close. Oh, but not quite that. Like no cigar. We have to edge out Betty because she's she's a she's a mogul. She's a staple household staple. Yeah. She's really good at making cakes. But bro, the DIY birthday cake turned out to be a huge vibe. Not gonna lie, it actually really blew me out of the water. Well, I'm gonna give the birthday cake a 4.5. I'm gonna edge out yeah. Betty Crocker by a whole point zero one. Bro, we're gonna we're gonna go with this one though. as a four point five. It was really good. Definitely try it at home if you guys try it at home. Make sure you tag me. Put it on Snapchat. Put it on Twitter. Put it on. Instagram and tag your boy. But since we're on a roll, we're gonna end the video with a banger. We're okay. making a DIY in the microwave lava cake, all right? So here goes nothing. What we need is a nice size mug like we have over here. What we need is three tablespoons of melted butter. We have melted up our three tablespoons of butter. Now we need a quarter cup of flour. So here we go, quarter cup of flizzy. Throw it on the dizzy. Now we need a quarter cup of sugar us. Equal parts of flour and sugar. That's kind of wassy. Never seen that combination in my life. Now we need two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now obviously your boy's fried because I got the fries, all right? So you, can, yeah. you guys you guys could never even, you guys could never even calculate it. So we have two tablespoons of cocoa powder. So we're gonna go one, only have Z on this one. We need the eeniest, teeniest, tiniest bit of salt, a little pinch of salt. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this a mix. Before we start adding more wet ingredients, all we have in there right now is just our butter. Once we got that mixed in there, now we need three spoons of milk. One, two, maybe this one's just that much, you know, guys. We need one egg oz. Like ay caramba. And one spoonful of some vanillas, like <laughs> Time to mix everything up. Make sure you guys are getting all the ingredients. And like, look at the flick of the wrist. All right, once you've mixed everything up to the best of your abilities, what you guys now want to do is grab some chocolate chips. And we want to grab a bunch of chocolate chips and put them right in the middle of the cake. Now watch this technique here. And drop them into the middle. Yay, yay, yay. Once we have the chocolate chips in the middle, what we want to do is grab a little bit of water and just dash a little bit of water right on top of the chocolate chips just like that now like into the microwave it goes for a minute and a half like two words I caramba let's check out the lava cake here we go okay 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 I'm gonna make an executive decision 30 more seconds 
All right, 30 seconds later. It definitely looks a little bit more cooked than the last time. Now we're gonna give this guy a little bit to cool off because obviously we gotta like top it off with whipped cream. Because what kind of lava cake is one without ice cream or whipped cream? We're just gonna let it cool off a little bit. And then we are ready for the final taste test of the day. Before I put the whipped cream on the lava cake, we gotta see if the chocolate tactic worked to see if the water actually made it become some sort of lava cake vibe. So here we go in the middle, and there's definitely no chocolate chips in sight. There's definitely no chocolate chips in sight anywhere. All right, guys, well, we shouldn't have spoiled it for ourselves. Let's go ahead and put the whipped cream on it. Ah, oh, nice. Little whipped cream, little chocolate cake. It's really hot. What's the verdict, Bongs? You okay. look kind of surprised, you don't really know, a little conflicted. It's actually not bad, not bad. I need to give it one more. It, just to make sure. it smells like if hot chocolate met a microwave, that's what it would smell like. All right, bro. Like hot chocolate. Whoa. This one is a banger. Definitely beats out the Nutella one. Mar, you got a fork? Damn, let me get this. Oh, come on. Mm. Yo, you, you initially bite it, it was pretty good, and then two bites in, boom, some explosion of flavor just hits you. Right? And it's fire. It's pretty fire. Mmm. Wow. That's a vibe. What are we giving it, Mar? Oh, uh, maybe like a four point. This is a four point four. Holy smokes. This is fire. I have to give the lava cake a four point five five. It I beats the birthday cake, but not but it does not no. beat Betty. Alright? No. No. My no. girl Betty held it down. That creamsicle was lit. But anyways, there it was, TikTok mug hacks. You guys see the vibes, mug cakes on your domas. They actually turned out better than expected, except for the Nutella one. That one was a huge disappointment, and I think the first one we did was kind of a huge disappointment. The banana, banana bread, bread. Yeah, you I hate forgot. the banana bread. Huge shout out to my boy Omari for helping me film today's video. Guys, I will leave a link to all his stuff in my description. If you guys have any future video ideas, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. And hey, your idea might just make it. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And until next time, take it easy. It's Bob Easy.